Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. And so we will be talking about uh, some increased rainfall that is expected in portions of the Caribbean. So some territories should be on alert this weekend as increased rainfall is expected. So we're going to go into all those details and see where uh, is likely to get the most rainfall. And along with that rainfall, flooding is also going to be possible, especially in low land in area so we'll take a look at all of that and we're generally going to take a look at the atlantic base then what is happening that and so region and slight updates regarding last hurricane season and so before i go into details Okay, so first things first, let's just go into what has happened with the World Meteorological Organization. And so during their meeting this week, the name Ida was retired from last hurricane season due to the catastrophic destruction that the storm caused. And so it is replaced with Imani for the 2027 Atlantic hurricane season. So Ida is no more. And the hurricane season starting on June 1st is still going to remain for this year, even though it might come into discussion again, maybe in the future of changing the date to the 15th of May, uh, letting it start the same time as the eastern pacific hurricane season so there are no changes to the official start date of the hurricane season but the national hurricane center will issue outlooks beginning on the 15th of may so now let's go ahead and take a look at the caribbean region and what is going on right now and so on satellite we're seeing that there is quite a bit of moisture that is present and so that is all due to a trough that is located in the eastern caribbean so on the surface chart here here, there we see that trough axis so this is a 48 hour service forecast and so by sunday we're seeing that this trough is going to be lingering there and troughs are associated with regions of low pressure because all of that air uh, it is moving air generally moves towards areas of low pressure and so on its way there it rises cools condenses form clouds and that is how we get all of that increased rainfall so areas in the eastern caribbean especially the northeast Eastern Caribbean, so uh, portions of the Virgin Islands, maybe the Lesser Antilles and Hispaniola, can anticipate quite a bit of rainfall as they're going to be heading into this weekend so as i speak about that let's go ahead and take a look at what the gfs model is forecasting and this is basically showing the precipitation rate in millimeters per hour based on the colors so we're focusing on those greens that you're seeing and in portions of the eastern caribbean we do see that we have quite a bit of moisture there especially in the vicinity of the lesser antilles and as we head to Sunday, the 1st of May, there we see most of that is really lingering in the northeastern section of the region. And we even see some areas of some yellows and reds. So that indicates quite a bit of rainfall so if you're in any of these regions please be cautious if you live in any low-lying flood prone areas please have an evacuation plan and uh, pay attention to the various news sources uh, in your area so that you know what is going on and the best decisions that you should make and as we progress into monday on the 2nd of may here we are seeing that a lot of this moisture is now in portions of the central caribbean and so jamaica mostly portions of haiti and potentially western cuba as well those areas will likely get some rainfall from this so please be aware of all of this that is going to be expected i mean may is typically the rainy season for jamaica so we can expect to see quite some rainfall from this thing here and uh, we've had severe rainfall events just several days ago and hopefully none of that repeats for us because things were just pretty crazy right here and in terms of the total accumulated precipitation precipitation that is expected from GFS we're seeing that between now and Monday on the second of the month GFS is showing that it is areas such as maybe the most easterly side of the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico and even the Virgin Islands as well experiencing the most rainfall 
and let's see if the euro model is agreeing with this so euro is is not showing as much rainfall in the vicinity of puerto rico and the virgin islands but rather for mainly portions of eastern dominican republic so all in all those areas as i said they will be experiencing quite a bit of rainfall as a result of that trough being in the region so these totals here are likely to change because of course uh changes are inevitable when it comes on to the weather and so another thing to note is that the climate prediction center is highlighting that sections of the caribbean should anticipate uh, increased rainfall above average rainfall so we see areas of the south caribbean portions of northern south america and also areas such as panama possibly costa rica as well extended into hispaniola uh, puerto rico and the virgin islands are expected to get all of that above average rainfall so that is what uh, the climate prediction center is highlighting which is very important so again guys reiterating that you should take all the necessary precautions and be on alert for the potential heavy rainfall that might occur within your area all right so let us go ahead now and take a look at what is happening in terms of the ocean temperatures so we are taking a look at this world map here and so over in the eastern pacific where we have this highlighted area that is the enso region right there and so we're seeing those greens and some blues associated with it and that is indicating that we have low temperatures there temperatures in the low 20s and uh, that is typically what a La Nina is and so as I said in past videos we are in a La Nina and it is likely to remain that way throughout most of this year and the Atlantic is slowly warming up as the season is going to be starting in less than about 40 days or so and on this map right here, uh, the latest value of the ENSO is minus 0.969 below average. And so, again, once we have the temperature being below minus 0.5, that is when we are really in a La Nina. And so the temperature is almost at minus one degree Celsius below normal. We are typically having this fluctuation that is going to be going up and down. But for the most part, it is beneath that minus 0.5 uh, area right there. So things are expected to get pretty active as we're going to be heading into this hurricane season, guys. And even though it's quiet right now, there is a chance that maybe within the coming weeks, we could even see a tropical cyclone. So I wouldn't be surprised because that has been happening for the past seven consecutive years. So I wouldn't be surprised if 2022 is yet another season where we have pre-season development and so that is really it for this update video guys and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be weatherwise.